Hey guys, I'm Rosa Vane, and welcome back to another episode of Zero Escape VLR, or Zero Escape Virtue's Last Reward. Last episode, we basically, uh, yeah, we just dealt with this whole treatment room, treatment center room. Uh, we freaking did a lot of it. We, we had, like, one puzzle we had to deal with. Um, now we got the password for both. Uh, but before we continue, I gotta mention that the, uh, the password, how do you get the password? in the, um, oh, didn't I see this earlier? I guess that was something I didn't see last time. Uh, let me get to that item here, the document. There we are. Um, this one. Yeah, so basically, oh, my information's still here. Yes, I kind of had a similar idea, I guess. It's just not correct. So this is the, the password, the, the, um, Past is your password to get out of the room, and the poor is the item for the golden document, basically, uh, the password for that. So the, the so the idea is that uh, the player starts here, basically, starts from the start, but with this this the golden document password, you need to actually keep going, basically. So if so, the first one, you run through all the way down to this, right? So that's the first time you ever got to your, your P. But then when you calculate the same numbers for the, t the hours, so like, I don't forget what the numbers were, 720 or something like that? 6, 715? 6, 620, I think? Um, so like the first one was like 620, I believe. I might be wrong. And so basically you would just calculate it forward. So you would just keep going, keep going, keep going, and then the numbers will tally up to reach this number, O, and then it would reach up to the next number, which is uh, R, um, which is weird to me, I guess, with the O being the second place, but I guess, but yeah, so basically you would just basically just follow through with just keep going forward and you'll figure out the words kind of thing, um, but yeah, it, it, that's how it worked, I guess, I, I had no clue what exactly, um, I don't know how to explain it better because that was what it was told to me and I didn't really watch the video in full. I just watched parts of the video because he said that uh, you just need to calculate the numbers accordingly to how you would count it up uh, with the times that you get first. Like first one, two, three, four, and then you just use numbers and it just that's the rows you keep going forward to. But anyways, point is we've already got the password. Got the password for the key, the, uh, the locker stuff here. So let's punch it in. This is a safe, right? Yeah. Just like the one in the AB room and infirmary. It should open when we plug in the right password. Assuming it works like the others, of course. Alright. So let's get the archive here. I don't remember the passwords here, so... So let's go for the golden document. We'll read through that, and then we'll get to the exit after that. Which, again, this flow is... I think one-sided? But I might be wrong. So star, star, sun. Okay. Star, star, sun. So that's, so that's golden document. You did it! You opened it! Alright. So that's that. Let me read through the golden document, of course. Secrets. There we go. Interesting. So it's that. Yeah, we don't have a lot left. We got like... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, it's a six. Yeah, we got only six more puzzles left to do. Okay, that's interesting. We got six more like puzzle rooms to finish before it's ready. Before it's all done. So that means there's, there's not much of the game left if it's only six puzzles. I think the majority of the game just seems to be more dialogue heavy stuff. Like it's all about the uh, dialogue stuff, and the puzzles are just kind of like an added additive to kind of pass to make the player kind of like get a challenge to get through the story i guess kind of iffy on my end but that's how they did it with 999 but 999 did it a little bit more better i feel like but eh. i mean not in terms of what the puzzles are in there i just think that the flow was a lot nicer with 999 instead of just randomly walking about. Anyways, an amazing machine that augments an individual's natural ability to heal, strengthens their immune system, accelerates their metabolism, and can cure any, can cure many otherwise incurable diseases. In addition, it can create personalized medicines. 
it can creation. I think somebody grammatically <laughs> translated it or typed it out incorrectly. It can create personalized medicines, perform gene therapy, and even... I don't think you would say gene. I'd say genetic therapy. Perform genetic therapy and even repair the effects of radiation damage. What an incredible machine. It's not that incredible if it can't cure Radical 6, you say. Well, yes. I guess you've got a point. But don't worry. It all has a function. It also has a function called cold sleep. Cold sleep uses cast freezing to freeze the entire body without damaging it. The way That way, it, even if the disease you have can't be cured, you can be frozen until a cure is found. The, they are generally two types of cold sleep. The first type involves lowering your internal body temperature. The re this reduces your basal metabolic rate and... Or basal? Basal? I don't think it's basal. I think it's basal. Basal metabolic rate and induces a state similar to hibernation. In other words, your body is still actively functioning, just very slowly. The other sort of cold sleep is the one in this game. This involves freezing your body to essentially lock it in whenever whatever state it was in. Until recently, this was impossible because the expansion and crystallization that took place during the freezing process irrevocably damaged human tissue. In that world where this game takes place, however, CAS technology has overcome this hurdle and makes made cryonics a reality. Uh, the Resuscitation rates is nearly 100%. In fact, you'd be much more likely to die in a plane crash, which means that freezing yourself to visit the future is safer than flying from Tokyo to Milan. Kind of an interesting comparison, I guess, to, to like a rate of death kind of thing. CAS stands for Cells Alive System. It allows organic tissues to be safe Safely and non-destructively non frozen in this case, or in the game, case, CAS is used to put people in cold sleep. It super cools the subject with a magnetic field and can causes them to freeze almost instantly, preventing crystallization. In real life, the problem comes when you try to thaw something out, which also must be done instantly. In this game, however, the technological, technological magic of the treatment pods makes returning from cold sleep possible. Give me a second, the water is tempting me because it's getting too much reading here. Mm. This is talking about 999 here. November 2018, 16 children were reported missing in actualities. 18 children were taken, but who were never, but who were never reported. The people in charge was someone who we will refer to as H. I'm guessing Hongo, Gintaro, Gintoro. Until I can remember, I can remember the Ace's full name anymore. I know it's Hungar, uh, Hungar, Hungo, which is his first name, I think. Uh, which is Ace. The purpose of the game was to conduct experiments on morphic resonance with the children as test subjects. I won't go into specifics here, but the short version is that this was the first known array game. November November first, twenty twenty seven. We're literally like four way, four years away from that. It's interesting because 2018 is like a year that passed and I think this game came out before 2018 technically so this is kind of like dating itself a little bit more. A total of nine people participated in the session. They were abducted just as the children had been but this time H was not in charge of the game. Clover was a participant in both games and now she finds herself playing the Nonary game yet again. So this is just a rehash of 999 here. Another rehash to 999's bullcrap things. Well, not bullcrap, but just pseudoscience things, rather. In the context of this game, espers are people with the ability to access the morphogenic genetic field. The, an esper can increase the strength of their signal by having or by being in close proximity to one other espers, uh, assuming they are in the strongest. The strongest signal will absorb any weak ones nearby and use them to amplify its strength sort of like the waves. The biggest wave adds the amplitude of smaller waves to its own and covers them up. The following nine people were participants in the known area game that Clover claims to have been part of. So we're going to probably talk more about Clover's past in this particular branch, maybe? That's interesting. Uh, Ace, middle-aged man, aka Hongo Gintou, which is the guy who is the president of the pharmaceuticals company for the game, the first game. Uh... 
the Nanari game, that is. Uh, second to Snake, Clover's over brother, real name Light, which is interesting. <laughs> like Yagami. I'm just kidding. Uh, I'm guessing as if, if he's saying that his real his real name is Light, then that means that his name is uh, Hikaru, I guess, in real life. Uh, three, Santa, arrogant, uncooperative young man, brother to uh, to Jun, aka uh, Akane, yeah. Um, number four, Clover, still Clover, just clo younger and with a jacket. <laughs> Love how they described her like that. Number five, Junpei, hero of nine hours, nine peoples, and nine, nine, nine persons, nine doors, which we beat it and played as throughout that whole time. Number six, Jun, Junpei's childhood friend, real name, Akane Kudashiki. Which her last name is kind of questionable still because we don't know if her last name is Kudashiki anyways. Seven, seven, uh, amnesic detective who tried to save Clover and her brother and and Jun, aka Akane, from when they were kids, of course. Eight, Lotus, attractive programmer who has two daughters who also participated in the first experiment. And nine, Kubota, Kubota, skittish man, gets blown up as the first part of the threat of the game and also co-worker of ace so it's interesting they don't cover that here so i basically gave the whole summary of each character of 999 <laughs> all right a type of carbamate carb carbamate compound which acts as a reversible acetyl 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 choline 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 steris Inhibitor. Jeez. <laughs> I can't pronounce my, my chemistry names nowadays. <laughs> Acetolin. Ac Acetylcholine steris. Steris? I don't know. Names elude me. Exciting the parasympathetic nerve. This allows it to counteract the effects of the muscle's relaxant. Turbocurin. It can be delivered in an injection. With a, an injection gun like the one you just see here. Are oh. we done? Yes, we are done. Okay. Uh, very fascinating. Yeah, it's interesting that it's muddled with, like... It's muddled with information from the last game, from 999. So oh. I am kind of curious if we're going to see more of that as we are going about this. Alright, what's the oh. last password we need? Here. Moon, moon, moon. Okay. Oh. And we're able to get out now. It's open. Good job. That's twice you opened it. Looks like we got an injection gun in here. Looks like it. The injection gun that we saw in the past. In the uh, archives. The secret archives. Well, that thing looks dangerous. You mean this gun thing? Yeah. I wouldn't worry about that. I think this is just an injection gun. It has it's a helpful tool, not a weapon. Are you sure? I think that kind of depends on what's in that vial there. The label says Neo Stigmine. Stigmine. Huh. What did you just say? Neo Stigmine? Why? Does that mean something? L uh, let me see it. Neo Stigmine. Neo stick me. I feel like I've heard that somewhere before. No good. I can't remember. Damn. So. I don't think it's bad though. Do you know? Do you have any proof? Nope. Of course not. Um. Could you let me hang on to this? Are you sure it's not dangerous? What would you do if it was? Alright. I trust you. You don't seem like a bad person. <laughs> Thanks. Then how about I let you take me on a date sometime? If we get out of here in one piece. Yay! Cool. Moving on. We still got a bunch of stuff in here. Yeah, but it's all flat stuff. <laughs> uh, why yes it is. First, we, uh, we've got a map. Cheesy. Floor B. The map I found in the infirmary said Floor A. 
I guess that means floor A is the top floor? I mean, we took the elevator down to get here, right? Yeah, that sounds about right. Up next, some gray, gray cards. Key cards. They've got moons on them, too. These must be the moon keys that the announcer were talking about. There are two of them, just like the sun keys. One for you and me. And the other one's for Quark. But he's... Well, that's not much point in giving it to him. I'll hang on to it for now. Okay, what's next? A piece of paper with something written on it. Here, here are some more AB game rules for you. Not voting is not an option. Oh yeah, this is the information that talks about how we have to like actually vote as a party, and if you don't vote in the party, you're considered uh, punished for for being part of that party, I guess. So that means one person from one of the parties must vote, even if they are not going to vote, uh, or not going to vote something that could potentially be beneficial or not. If both parties refuses to vote, then everybody gets punished. Oh, so it's saying, it's saying everybody gets penalized, meaning that... Yeah, I'm still vague on this. I don't know if it's everyone, as in, like, every single person in the party, or the two parties itself. Like, everyone, or the two parties that are everyone. A little bit vague. I accidentally misclicked. Uh, Law, what do you say? In other words, one person out of every color group of three has to vote. In other words, all three of us can't not vote. One of us has to. So either you or me, you mean. Oh well, there's no reason not to pick ally in the next round anyway. Of course, first, we've got to get out of this room. And that'll be easy. Just look at the last thing in the safe. The key to the exit. Let's go. Ikimashou. Alright, cool. So that's the end of this whole puzzle room. Not to say that this puzzle room was bad, it's just a little bit tough considering how uh, some things were a little bit confusing, but it's whatever. There's a lock for the exit. It says lock right now. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, let's do this. Three, two, one. You found it. Dum, 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 dum. It, it had to happen again. Jesus. Ugh. Like, Dio did it again, didn't he? Like, this is, this is not the first time. This is like the third time already that he's kind of like sacrificed or pushed the door open quickly without even thinking twice about it. Also, yeah, we're almost at the end of this road, it looks like. I'm hoping that this one, like, once we get through this and get both of these uh, these ending parts, uh, we don't have to return to this branch again so that it can let me just focus on everything else that is around. Uh, like, yeah, once we go through these two paths, I'm going back up to this path right here because I want to go up to this branch and just finish this out and so I don't have to come back down to, like, copy the same information again but at least we're almost done with all the informations that are like on this row like all the ones that comes from the the first initial uh branches of ally and betray is almost done so that's really fantastic and that would help me like get out of this absolute madness of like dealing with these sort of things i guess yeah anyways um Okay, yeah, sorry, I'm just distracted. Because I'm wondering, I was wondering, like, how do you know if these question mark books will be unlocked based on, um, like, how do I know if it's unlocked based on, like, <laughs> unlocking it, I guess. I can't tell, really, but, eh, we'll see. Uh, yeah. Ambidex game. Toshio no shimekiri made. Nokori 45 des. Sorry, I didn't read it. What the hell? 
Wh why would they do that? Whatever. We should be heading back anyway. I headed for the door. Uh, uh, hmm? You want me to take Quark with us? Clover's voice stopped me. What is it? Nandeska. I turned to see her pointing towards the wall with the treatment pods. Hmm? What? Nani? I'm guessing Quark's in there and he's like needing to... Oh, yeah. It says recent operational records. I stepped closer and began to read. What it said was interesting. Current treat treating one subject. That one subject had to mean Quark. This was the pod where we put him into, after all. I read on. 0748, one subject released. 0806, one subject successfully restored. 816, cold sleep mode disengaged. Beginning restoration of one subject. All prior records have been erased. Auth authorization, admin. I checked the other pods. They were all the same. Yeah, I I'm not going to reread that again. It's pretty much the same thing anyways, for sure. Why are you making me read it again, man? <laughs> I get it. Whoa, whoa. What, what is all this? That's before all of us woke up, right? I mean, it hasn't been eight hours yet. So the three pod people could be three of us. They could have been captured earlier. Don't know how much earlier. Then they were they were thawed out eight hours ago and carried into the AB rooms. So ただ正確に言うと yeah. If you could count the old woman we found, then it would be ten, wouldn't it? So who are who were the three pod people? <笑><笑> it doesn't say when they were put into cold sleep either. I wonder why they wouldn't just write the time though. <coughs> it is true though. I'm like, the timer didn't keep track of what date, but just what time as in like just the clock time. Like that information doesn't, why, like that information matters more than the freaking date of when certain things was. Well, you said it yourself. The log says eight hours ago, not like 9.15 a.m. Those minus signs have to mean this far in the past. Who would ever write the time like that? Maybe Zero Senior doesn't want us to know what the actual time is. Hell if I know. Speaking of things, I don't know. Why did this stuff suddenly show up? It seems like whatever it was that triggered this activated as soon as we opened the door to leave. Yeah, but why? That's what I'm asking. What reason would it be what reason would he have to do that? Perhaps, but he deleted a bunch of the data. Why? 
どうしてもしかして全部はったりとか<笑> A trick. モニターの記録は全部でたらめでゼロボスは私たちをからかうためにこんな仕掛けを。So you're saying this was just a joke? Dangan wa dekin a kedo, so nan janai? Te i t t e r no. Hmm. No, it doesn't really make sense. Tonikak, hoka no minna ni mo kite mi yo? Nani ka omo y a t a r koto ga nai ka do ka. Yeah, you're right. If the AB gates have opened, we need to be heading back to the warehouse anyway. We double checked that Quark was all right in this pod, and then we hurried out of the treatment center. Of course, we had to go through the transitional scene to get the heck out of this space, of course. Excuse the darkness in this room, though.、Uh, <laughs> this room got pretty dark because we were recording at the late hours of the evening. Surprised that no one's here, though. I meant to m o r t y o u again. Is this another warehouse? ね。Okay, let's take a closer look. I think what's gonna happen here is that we'll, we will、uh, be late to the party, and there would be like almost no time for us to like do anything else besides actually vote, which is my hope here because I don't want to be like, exploring randomly. But、uh, we'll see. I mean, they said 45 minutes, right? Till the end of the vote. So we got like 45 minutes to go through all this and talk with the group and potentially have the group do something else on top of that, which is to probably examine Quark's situation. But、uh, who knows? I mean, it could just end very poorly. We'll never know. Yeah, I've been here and I've already been through one of the doors at least. So these are the dirt, third round chromatic doors, huh? I guess we'll be coming back here pretty soon. Why? What do you mean? And if we vote betray, we basically kill Quark, I guess. Actually, no, Quark has probably voted. Properly, I think. He, he probably voted、uh, betray and got the extra points he needs. Uh oh. It's a tempting choice. Yeah, that's true. So? Yeah. Quark. Uh huh. So you're saying that the, the, the automatic ally is a thing. I get it. I already knew this rule. It's been said too many times before we even reached this point, so we kind of knew that. You aren't saying we should pick Betray, are you? Sigma, that's the one that's the one that's the one that's the one. You know, Temioji trusted us. We weren't supposed to do this. N no, that's not. I just. I thought that with Quark's condition, I'd be able to choose Ally and not worry about being betrayed. 
いいって嘘つかなくても私たちはパートナー運命共同体なんだよ<笑> so she just wants to get out early. 隠し事はやめようよ I'm not hiding anything. じゃあ本気で言ってるの協力を選ぶべきだってちょっとやめてよこんなチャンス二度とないかもしれないんだよ次のラウンドで BP を8にすることができたとしてもその次で加点できるかどうかわからないじゃん I guess. うんそれ以前のこととして3回目の AB ゲームが確実に行われるっていう保証もないし I wouldn't be surprised if Clover ends up using that needle to stab me as I, when she's about to exit and betray me basically at the end of the road. <laughs> Because we, op we both open the door with nine points and she's just like, nope, you're not going out. I am only. And I'll be like, not surprised. Or maybe she kills me with a needle if we choose the wrong option and then that's the ending right there. It's, it would be hilarious for either one, I guess. Now, BP is six people. There are three people, right? Dio, K. Yeah, and they're both, they're all three of them are in one group, I believe. No, K and Phi is in one group. But、uh, Dio is in the other group, I believe. They leave. Phi, I don't know yet. We haven't seen Phi leave because she has nine points. Because we've actually been through that situation where she actually got the full nine points, but she chose not to leave because of,、uh, because of the truth. She wants to pursue the truth just as much as we did. That's not going to happen. Luna and F Fai and Luna are playing against Tim Yoji. He's, only going, he's only got one BP left, though. I don't really think he, they'd pick Betray. If Tim Yoji pick Ally, they'd kill him. The same goes for Dio. He's playing against Alice and Kay, and Alice is BP. I don't think. So, the, 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 the statement you should say here <laughs> is that nobody in either groups are going to choose Ally because of the fact that if one person betrays, then they're going to die. So. Or they're going to die, or they won't.、Uh, they won't meet enough points, anyways. Point, point taken. Anyways. I agree. But her BP is the same as Ten Myoji's. So, unless Dio's willing to kill someone, he won't be able to get his, six,、uh, his BP to nine. Yep. Yeah, that is generally the best defense choice. Defensive choice. Then. Yeah, but th that's such a low possibility. Considering Dio, he is not the type of guy who would ever choose Ally. Unless he was paired up against、uh, Luna again, like he did from the、uh, other paths. Yeah. Well, that's not necessarily the case. I don't like the fact that they're still go going through this information when we've already clearly seen this fact. We've seen this case already in another path, so it just kind of sucks that this is the near last part of the, 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 the flow that we've kind of. Already knew a lot of information going into this, so we don't really need the same information again spoken to us. But. Doubt, hard doubt. He literally tried to leave with Dio when Dio was like betrayed or whatnot in the one other path. <laughs> And I got screwed over almost. Or I got screwed over actually in that particular path. It, was, it ended up being a bad ending, anyways. I don't know, but it's possible. Well, we can think about that. Or, well, we can think about how we're getting out, going to vote later. For now, we need to get back to the others. There's a couple of things I gotta do when we get back. 
Okay, back to floor A then. Let's move. Ikimashou. Ikimasu. I turned, and, I turned and headed for the exit. After a few moments, I heard Clover's footstep following behind me. Alright, I'll end the episode once we get back to floor A. Once we get to the warehouse. See what kind of madness we're walking into. Wait, what? That area, that room looks so weirdly different compared to everything else that we've seen. Okay, so once we get to floor A and meet everyone, I'll stop there. Uh, I'll stop at that point because I'm out of time anyways. Bing! Of course. Alright, we're almost there. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode of Nobody Minds. Hope you guys have a great, amazing day. We can actually wind up watching this. So once we get to this first dialogue, I'll probably pause, save, and kind of call it for this recording. Shroom. Alright. Cool. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode in Order of New Minds. Hope you guys have a great amazing day. We can night or whenever watching this. And uh, yeah, we're going to close out this this uh, flows very soon, actually, it seems. So once we get to the voting and get to whatever branch we end up with, uh, that would pretty much be the end of this particular path, which will be very quick. But I'm hoping that also opens up something like this, because this was kind of like an ending path, basically, for this, for this part. Um, but... We'll see. We'll see what happens. I mean, we still got a lot of few... We got a few blocked paths anyway, so... We'll see how that goes. And then once we're done, we'll go back up to this particular path, as I said. Let's just go down to this particular order here. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Roz, 